What's good, sneakerheads? Back here with another one. Uh, the one I got for you today, um, I'm kind of lucky that I got it, I guess, because uh, I wasn't able to get the other one that I wanted. It dropped at the same time. Um, probably not going to wear this, but I'll keep it in my collection. I mean, I might wear it. You know, they're good on the court from what I hear. So, And not to mention, I love all three people involved in this. So let's just jump right into it. Got it from the sneakers app, um, and the fact that it's got three people involved, you know, I'm using the same thing that I've, you know, I'm going with the same deal that I've done before using other things to open up my boxes with. I've got this little, I guess it's a phone screwdriver, maybe some type of screwdriver. I don't know. You can barely see the head on it. So figure uh, it'd be a lot easier to open it. Instead of using something crazy like a guitar pick or whatnot. It is... Kyrie 3 Mamba Mentality Bruce Lee's. Gotta love them. <laughs> the reason why I don't think I'm going to wear these is because... As you see, neutral. This is like the brightest thing I own. And these are bright school bus yellow or cheese yellow or the sun yellow, whatever you want to call it. But I do like the design of them. The design is very, very good. Like they, they definitely took it to another level with this shoe, incorporating so much into it. Um, the cool thing is, I mean, everybody calls it the Bruce Lee's because this is based on the uh, the Kobe 5 Bruce Lee. Um, and the reason why is because Kyrie actually wore the Zoom Kobe 5 Bruce Lee when he was 17 and he played in the uh, Nike Extravaganza out in California. So not to mention he's, you know, one of his good friends and... Uh, um, protege I guess you want to call it something like that you know I mean they're really good they he looks up to Kobe a lot so uh, they went ahead and kind of incorporated the two in this shoe as well as they paid homage to Bruce Lee with these four little stripes right here yeah I, I think it's awesome because if you look at it they also incorporate right here on the tongue this is a new logo. It's called the uh, Kirobi, Kairobi uh, logo. It's a mixture of uh, Kyrie and Kobe's logo. And I think that's pretty cool. It's split right down the middle, the Kyrie and the Kobe right here. I think that's pretty cool. The tongue actually doesn't even feel like leather or anything. It, it feels like it's like some foam plastic leather I don't know it feels kind of cool though um, the quality on these are great like I don't know why that is when it comes to Kyrie's Kobe's you know shoes like that the, the quality is almost always on point but Jordan's it seems like there's more that aren't good than there are ones that are it doesn't make any sense but these are limited and usually Nike's limited run is always a lot better than their general release so who knows I don't know the cool thing about these is you know right here on the inside of them you've got the snakeskin print and it runs over this is you know to signify the Mamba mentality this is like uh, the snakeskin the Mamba and then you run over to the Samurai. This is a blend of the uh, Kobe 5 Bruce Lee and the Kobe 3 Samurai. Um, which is, it, it's kind of like a signifying, like passing the torch kind of thing, or like a unity, like, you know, unifying the two players. Um, and then of course, you know, they threw in, because it's the Samurai, and based on the Bruce Lee, they incorporated Bruce Lee in that. Uh, and I think that's really cool. You know, I mean, the fact that Bruce Lee passed away so long ago and he's still being incorporated into a lot of things because of how good he was. 
And I really think that it also has to do with the fact that, you know, his favorite shoes were those yellow things that he wore whenever he was, like, training. I forgot what those were called. Um, people in prison with those slip-ons, you know, they get, they call those Bruce Lee's. So, because they, you know, resemble what he trained in. Um, and I'll put a picture of those up, too, so you see what I'm talking about. You know, while we're at it, I wonder if Bruce Lee would have liked these. It's kind of got... Wait a minute, what are you doing here? Do, do you like them? Wait, what are you... What? Why'd you do that? I guess you don't like them. Whatever. <laughs> but... Um, these actually, just like the Kobe's, have Zoom Air in them. And, I mean, honestly, I've never worn a pair of these. I got these in a size 12. I'm not sure how good they fit. So, you'll see, you know, make sure to watch toward the end. Um, I'm going to have it on feet to show that. Um, so, you know, I don't know if they're true to size or not. I don't know, you know, what you should get as far as size is concerned. And I'll let you know, you know, later on when I'm editing this. Um because I would have already tried them on. But, I mean, to be honest, now that I've got them in hand, I might wear them. You know, I heard that Kyrie's are very good on the court. That I mean, the bottom of these, the sole is so thick. So it's got to do, it has to have a lot of zoom in there. Um, and honestly, I don't know, like, in here, it looks below the Kyrie symbol and this red, it kind of looks like it says either H2 or a hashtag 2. I don't really know what that means, but, uh, you know, if somebody can comment and let me know, that'd be great. Um, I was looking at that earlier, you know, at a friend of mine's house. They had the same thing, and he had no idea what it meant to, but it's printed on some type of... Uh, it looks like um, linen or like cotton or something. And the fact that they would have that inside, you know, honestly, it's probably the bottom of the, um, it says Azure Azuri Elizabeth. I don't know. It's probably his kids and names or something. But um, that looks like it might be on the bottom of the insole. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but the grip on these, I heard, was great. That these things are great basketball shoes. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give them a whirl on the court and see how they feel. They feel really stiff. Um, you know, you could definitely tell the shell on the end of them. The toe kind of curves over on the big toe. And I think that might be because he liked to drag his toe like uh, Jordan did. Because, I mean, all the shoes that Jordan came out with, uh, they're totally different. Like the ones that he wore on court, he always got custom made, especially the right one. The right one over the left one, because he would constantly drag his toe and it would just wear the shoes out super quick. So they would always tweak them for him. But these are like real stiff down here in the toe. It's a lot bigger too than most shoes. And uh, I mean, the they feel great. I mean, especially the inside. The inside feels like it's two different materials like toward the bottom from the top to the bottom and I think that's for durability and comfort so they don't fall apart as easy but um yeah it's got his uh it's got his signature right there on the tongue and I also noticed that on the inside of these on the insoles this one has XII so 13 and this one's got VII I don't know if you could see that or not. I'll put a picture in just in case. Um, it even has a little Bruce Lee, you know, wraps on the shoelaces. That's pretty cool. <coughs> but yeah, I don't know what the XII, VII thing stands for, but, you know, I'll make sure to look that up and let y'all know. Um, but yeah, I wonder if this solid zoom air all the way through or not. It kind of looks like it might. There's definitely a lot of it up here. I don't know about back here. It's real stiff though. But yeah, um, I wonder what this Japanese writing means too because there's two totally different ones. You got that one, and then you got this one right here. 
two totally different symbols. I'm sure it has something to do with Kyrie. Um, I don't think it would be Bruce Lee's. I think that was the same thing on the Samurais that he released. These are, you know, really nice. I do, I do really like the pattern on them. I do like the quality of them. They, they are bright though. They're so bright. <laughs> Uh, that's I, I'm gonna definitely be torn on these whether I'm gonna wear these to the court or not. They kind of resemble the school buses that he released, you know, for the little kids. But we'll see. Who knows? I mean, I'm 30 years old. I don't think a 30 year old man would wear something like this. But we'll see. I'll you know, might change my mind after I put them on my feet. We'll definitely see. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Were you able to cop them? Did you cop them? Um, I actually wanted to go for two different ones. I wanted these and I also wanted the KDX 10s finals. I'm sure everybody wanted those. Those were super, super limited. They looked amazing. Came with that gold box and the dust bag with the MVP champ written on them and everything. I wasn't able to cop them. Uh, all my connects weren't able to cop them. They, they said that they wouldn't even try because of how limited they were. But... You know, and the price tag of what, like 350, 400 bucks. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay that for a pair of KDXs. Um, I'm sure the price will come down later on, and when they do, I'll cop them because I really wanted those. But I got lucky with these; was able to cop them. Uh, it's a good add to any collection because of you know the origin and everything about them. I'm a big Kobe fan, Kyrie fan, and a Bruce Lee fan, so. What better way? And I never copped the um, the Kobe 5 Bruce Lee's. So this is a good one to have in its place. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for good pictures like always and some on feet. Um, uh, yeah, like, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, that way you can stay up to date on my latest video drops. Make sure to... Uh, you know, follow me on social media. It links are in the description. Um, I always post what I get there first and then, you know, make the video or post the video after the fact. Um, plus a bunch of other random stuff, you know, uh, news about new shoes that are coming out, like the new Jordans that are dropping this, uh, this you know, season in a few months coming up this holiday. Uh, yeah, so hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. There's a lot more to come, so make sure to subscribe. And I hope y'all have a good one. Peace out.